Well, just a, a great match. Uh, certainly not fun to lose, but a good college tennis match. Uh, I think it really shows, again, the doubles point when you get down to these uh, semifinals, final matches at the NCAAs means so much. Uh, I thought we had a good chance to, to win there uh, today against this team, but we didn't play real well at number one doubles. Number three was certainly very close. Uh, went to that tiebreaker, didn't go our way. It seemed like all three tiebreakers uh, that were really crucial did not go our way today, but you know that's the way the old ball bounces. But uh, certainly proud of the team. We had a great year, lost to a great team here. Nothing to be ashamed about, but uh, you know, a few points here and there. Uh, probably that match against Carew Sell at six uh, was the nail in the coffin uh, in some ways, uh, up 5-2 in the third set, and we lose that tiebreaker. I think if we win that, we put a little more pressure on Oklahoma to have to win both of those last two matches. Unfortunately, that kind of, I think, sparked them a little bit when they won that one, and all of a sudden the, the pressure shoots back to us to have to win those last two matches. And we're in the tiebreaker with Clay, so just a little added pressure, I think, for him. Obviously, after last year, I'm sure your goal was to get back to the final and kind of, you know, get over that pain. <laughs> what are you feeling right now about not oh. playing tomorrow? You know, we've had a kind of a funny season. You know, we've lost. Uh, you know, Novikov left sco left school, and uh, we didn't have Adrian for for almost all the season until the last dual match of the year. And Dennis McCurchin from our lineup last year has been out almost since the indoor. So, it's been a, a, a really a fun year coaching wise for me. We've had three freshmen really, you know, having to hold a, a, a great part of our our team uh, for what we accomplished this year. I feel really good. Yes, when you get here, you and you get so close to maybe thinking you have a chance, but. Uh, Certainly, you know, would have liked to have won tonight, had a chance to play, and maybe redeem ourselves from last year. But uh, no regrets. Uh, I'm just really proud of the the team, and they've given it 110 percent effort. I couldn't ask for any more. What makes Oklahoma such a good team? Well, I think they're, you know, certainly very good uh, condition team. I mean, very physical. I saw that tonight. Uh, they were able to, because I feel we are too, uh, you know, but, you know, to come back in that last set at number six, I think was important. That that was a really a, a, a great match at number four singles, I felt, very physical. Both those guys were just really going at it, you know, you know 10, 15, 20 ball rallies almost every point. Uh, interesting match at number one uh, with El Corta and Clay, two, you know, sort of completely different styles. Clay served volley, El Corta really liking to, you know, to you know, hit a lot of balls, and Clay doesn't allow him to do that. You got to give him credit for losing the first set 6-0 and coming back. Uh, you know, he's lost to Clay twice this year, and uh, you know, last time quite badly at the indoors. So when we won that first set, I was thinking, oh my gosh, you know, this Clay just must have his number. You know, I mean, a lot of times matchups are are funny in tennis, but um, you know, that coming back there, you know, probably was as as big a you know help for Oklahoma as anything to, to get back in that match. And of course, then it ends up being the last match. Uh, so probably, you know, one and, and six, you know, did us in. Anything else, guys? For me. Okay, thank you.